What is up guys? Welcome back to another adventure. No, this is not some summertime footage of a past adventure. We are in Southern Florida on a no-name river. We're just cruising around in kayaks, looking for gators. Okay. I was looking for snook. Yay, TJ! There's some tarpon in here, a big old bass in here. We got uh, we got the wife. Hi, buddy. Ah! In her kayak, my brother TJ, in his kayak. We're gonna go on a little mission down the way. There's uh, there's two spillway spots on this river. And we're just gonna go down to the second one. We're gonna fish around in the deep water. Sit back, relax, and we're gonna paddle our way down to the money spot. We'll get the camera back on and uh, get some fish on. So we just saw our first alligator of the trip. Always super cool. Check it out. Probably a seven or eight footer right there. Pretty cool. We'll leave you alone, buddy. See you, see you on the way back. Hopefully. Right. I feel like we're in Jurassic Park right now. You know, we saw that gator, turtles everywhere. There's these crazy, like, look at this tree right here. These crazy dangling vines. And I think I just had a bite. Maybe not. We'll find yeah. out. First fish of the trip right here. Let's see what it is. Is that a snook? Snook right off the bat. Jeez. And it's bigger than the snook I got last time. So as you guys saw on that one episode last time, last year we, uh, we filmed, I, I caught my first snook, but it was like 10 inches long. So I'm looking for a bigger one. And I just now beat that if we can get him in. Beauty. Look at that guy. Look at that thing. Yep. Snook have this crazy lateral line, which uh, they use to actually find their prey. Um, God, what a beautiful fish. You know, it's kind of a, a cross between a bass and like a perch or something like that. You know, just gorgeous fish. Look at the spikes on the thing. So this is a common snook and it's a freshwater snook. This is brackish water, but wow, what a beautiful fish. First fish of the trip, we're gonna get him back in the water. We're looking for a bigger than that, but that is a great start to our day. Heck yeah, look at that thing. All right, we're gonna let him go. That was a horrible release. <laughs> horrible release, but he swam away stoked. Those fish are really, Resilient not that I really did anything, but I like to revive fish a little bit better than that before I let them go But is what it is. Let's get another one Okay, I got a fish on fish on Another no, it's a bass. Oh bass? Yeah Oh Oh there bud a little large mouth Just getting ripped. Check out this little guy. Second fish for me. Get that hook out before I. Yeah, let's, let's lick him. It's okay, bud. Pop the hook. Nice little, nice little bass. Look how dark he is. Probably just the perfect camouflage for this dark water. Just a little guy. They get way bigger in here. Obviously, I'm in Florida, so it's like the capital of monster largemouth. That is not a monster largemouth, but I'll take it. Second fish of the day, let him go. I fish out here every day, but there's no steelhead in here, so it's kind of tricky. We pushed on through the maze of old cypress trees, wildlife, and warm black water. Our imaginations trying to anticipate what crazy things we might see around the next bend. Wildlife everywhere. You know, I love Florida, but this is like different. This is like 
like I said, it's like Jurassic Park. There's nobody around right now. I know that a lot of people come out here and fish this, but you feel like you're just in the middle of the jungle. Now if I could just get something to eat this shiner. It wasn't long before we made it to our first spillway. The rig we're doing today is super, super simple. Uh, my main line is my 50 pound braid. And then the leader we're running is, I think I have 25 pound on here. You know, the snook and stuff in here are not monstrous. We're not gonna probably find that 40 incher that we're really hunting for. But there's some good fish in here. Yeah, we're just gonna, we got a hook, we got a leader to our main, and then we got a little shiner. Hook the shiner through the top of the roof of the mouth a little bit. Boom, just like that. And just drop it in and let it do its thing. Hooked into a decent snook right away, only to have it run me into some pilings and get away. But before paddling on, we decided to try and catch some bait fish. This guy is not bait. Look at the size of that color. thing. Look at the color of him. Look at his head's all yellow and pinkish. He's got the craziest colors. I don't know if you guys can see in the sunshine or anything. Super cool. But we cannot use that for live bait. I don't think there's any snook big enough to eat that in here. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. All you Floridians are gonna tell me I'm lying. Look, he's changing color right now. Whoa. Look at that guy. He's big. That is a beast. <laughs> nice work, babe. I mean, we're going for bait fish, but we're catching monster fish. So we're actually having a blast doing this too. Woo! That top fin is so cool. The whole ridge got a mohawk. Super. Super cool fish. I'm not sure if it was the way the sun was sitting in the sky, the sound of my paddle connecting with the water, or the view of some of my favorite things. These moments will be engraved forever, fishing our way down this wandering labyrinth. See with the camera. See his, uh, his, his uh, neck's all. Yep. Loaded. Yep. Does that mean he's mad? Nah, he's just on alert. What? Okay. Holy <laughs> we have come to the point in the river where I actually caught that snook, my first snook ever, um, in this hole right here where we're at. And uh, I am gonna use the biggest bait that I have in here. I'm gonna hook him on. And that, my friends, is hopefully gonna catch a monster snook. TJ's over here on this other side of the, of the log. He's fishing that corner. One of us is gonna find something nice in this pocket. Well, I got one on here, but I'm underneath this branch again. Oh, I can see him. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh, I got him. Oh, that's a decent one. It's a good fish. Snook. Gotta be careful. Come here. Nice little snook. It's a little bigger than my first one and definitely bigger than that first snook I ever got. But look at that beauty. Let him go back down. Nice. As I pull into the second spillway, TJ is already hooked up. Oh, that's a beauty, Tej. Holy shit. Dude, that's a 20 plus inch here, bro. He had a big minnow on, or a big shiner. Nice work, dude. Look at that thing. 
This here is a beautiful freshwater snook right here. Nice job. That's beauty, bro. He's like, no, things ain't coming in. Getting tired now. Turn them into right here. Beauty, dude. Wow. Uh, she doesn't want to come in. Nah. You got her. Wow, TJ. Oh, Holy. Hell yeah. Look at the lateral line on that fish right there. Look at the girth on the tail. Woo. That thing's got to be, I'll bet you that's a, almost a 30 inch fish. What a beauty. That was your first TJ, one today? TJ yeah. just watched uh -huh. me catch two or three on the way down and then he uh, comes down and just wow. conquers a fatty. Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's revive her back in. Wiggle her around. Yeah, we can hold on to her, her head there. Oh, she's, she's chilling, dude. She's fine. just, oh yeah, she's totally fine. Wow. Bro. Good job, TJ. Yes, dude. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. Sweet. So we got a handful of snooks. We got that little bass. TJ's monster, man. That's just it's gonna be the. He set the bar on that one. He uh, he actually doesn't get to fish much. He's in the military, so he's he's always uh, busy doing military stuff. It's good to see him out here enjoying some time. How's the feel? You just caught the biggest snook of your life. It was awesome. It was awesome. Oh yeah, that was a great fight. <laughs> but that snook was only about 30 inches. We are on the hunt for a 40 incher. So a 30 incher is not gonna do it, even though we're super pumped on the day. But uh, yeah, we're after the big one for sure.